Hi there, I'm Courtney. This is So Lovey Holistic, and you're watching another two minute meditation. Today we're gonna have a neurology lesson. So welcome. I'm gonna put on my professor hat today. We are gonna talk about the impact that mindfulness and meditation can have on the physical brain. So we know that it can have an impact on our thoughts. We know that it can have an impact on our emotions and even on our physical states. But did you know that you can actually change your brain with meditation? All learned experiences are imprinted on the surface of the brain. And this is particularly true of high intensity and impactful learning experiences, which unfortunately can often include things like trauma. And so when there's a trauma, it's physically imprinted on the surface of the brain. And our ability to imprint or change the structure of the brain is called plasticity. And previously, there was a belief that the brain's plasticity started to really drop off at the end of adolescence and early adulthood. And research is coming forward now that suggests that we actually have neuroplasticity throughout our entire lives. So bonus point for meditation number one is that this is a lifespan concept. It's never too late to pick up this habit and to make some positive changes. But the other part of the research is that we're finding that we can re-imprint and so places where there has been trauma, where there has been this really negative, painful, suffering impact on our neurology, that through a consistent mindfulness practice, you can start to undo some of that, and actually heal uh, from a neurological perspective. And again, because this has been found to exist later in life than was originally believed, this doesn't end. There's no point where it's too late for you to heal from the pain and the trauma of your past. You just need to come to the cushion and practice, um, but that you do have that healing power and that it's fully within your ability to do. So I hope that you found this as interesting as I do. Um, I'm a big psych nerd, and when I find out cool things about neurology, it makes me pretty excited and I'm happy to share it with you. So thanks for being with me today. I'll see you next time.